All right, praise the Lord. Um, am I able to uh, screen share Jasper? I can't see you. All right, good. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, good uh, good afternoon to everyone. Um, let me just open my presentation, and then we'll go from there. There we go. Does anyone see that? Does everybody see that? All right. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. All right. Praise the Lord. So, um, uh, my topic for today is about happiness is of the Lord. So, um, so yeah, and um, I want to talk about this uh, topic because um, you know I, I've been um, uh, since uh, last few days. You know, uh, I've been um, I've been asked by Pastor Zaldi to make a talk, and I couldn't think of something. But I prayed, and um, I thought, um, you know, um, and uh, there's this thought that came into me because. Um, Pastor Manuel was uh, in, in our midweek meeting, and he taught. He he said to us like, um, uh, "There's two most important things in the Bible, which is uh, um, how to be saved and how to keep yourself to be uh, on being saved." So, and I wanted to talk about you know sometimes our journey on um, um, you know when when we receive the Holy Spirit, it, it can be really. Um, uh, distressing or sometimes can be really, really sad to the point that we are broken. But then I thought about, you know, our, our happiness doesn't depend on anything on this world. Rather, it, it depends o on the Lord. So, um, so my, my uh, uh, title for the talk for today is about happiness is of the Lord. And as you can see, the picture uh, um, under is um, our brethren in the Lord who are um, uh, happy. And some of them you might recognize, especially one in the green jacket. <laughs> so yeah, praise the Lord. Um, we'll, we'll move on. Sorry, it's happening. All right, all right. So praise the Lord. And um, uh, this one I wanted to uh, wanted to share this picture because I saw this on uh, on a revival fellowship site, and you know, um, it says here that lives change to the power of God, and that is true for all of us. You know, that that could be uh, that is that could said. To the picture, to the people who are in the picture, and uh, if you see here, you can see um, brother um, brother Tommy. He's quite famous, as you can see, he's in the picture, and uh, you know, it's uh, all of these people have experienced um, the power of God change to their life, and uh, the same story could be, could be said to all of us that um, you know we were we came in before that uh, we before we were before we were uh, with God. Our lives were pretty much our lives was pretty much broken, and um, it has no hope. It has no direction. But then, you know, when we when we have received the Holy Spirit to the speaking in tongues, and when we have when we were being baptized of water and in spirit, it gave us purpose in this life. You know, it gave us something to look forward to, something to you know to say that oh, um, now I I matter to this world. Now I, I, I matter to someone, to something, which is to God. You know, we all matter to God because He is our children. And um, to us, He gave us His glory. And we, uh, to us, we can show it to other people as well in this world that we are a champion of God. You know, we are the symbols. We are the light of this world. We are the salt of the earth. And all of, the, all of it is, is, uh, is us right now. And... Um, and um, and because of that, our lives was changed, and um, we were happy. You know, we were happy. So, uh, moving on to that, I want to talk about um, the first one is um, uh, about Ezra and Nehemiah. So, um, let's open our Bible to uh, Nehemiah chapter eight, or, or you, you just you don't need to. I mean, the, the scripture is always is already here. So yeah, uh, on verse five it says here that, and Ezra opened the book in the sight of of all the people. For he was standing above all the people, and we, when he opened it, all the people stood up. You know, this where this uh, this um, story was was talking about. You know, when uh, when the Israelites, people of Israelites, were um, were on the seventh month of their stay, on where uh, God has promised them, and um, and uh, uh, the prophet Ezra was uh, in uh, in 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 Israel as well to open a book. And 
uh, they were celebrating. They were they were um, having fellowship because it was the seventh month. And if we look at the Bible numerics, you know, seventh is always the Sabbath day. And if we look at also in Genesis chapter two verse three, uh, it says there that then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. You know, it's always the seventh day is um is uh, when God was uh, rested when he did the work. He was done doing all the work that um, all the creations and um, um, yeah. And, and, you know, uh, in the seventh month, um, I guess the people of Israel were also, um, um, you know, they were also rejoicing God for it. And that's why they were, they were having this, um, they were having this uh, uh, fellowship. And um, as you can, as you can see in the verse five, it says all the people stood up. Because Ezra opened the book, and the book here what was talking about is the book of law, which um, today for us is the Bible, but for them, you know, back then, because since it was the old uh, old test uh, old testament, um, the book of law was was somewhat that uh, what they have from uh, what they have compiled from um, the laws of God, and um, yeah, and then verse verse six it says that and Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God then. All the people answered, Amen, Amen. While lifting up their hands, they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. And, you know, um, and this was talking about, you know, how people was, was really uh, reluctant. They were, or, they were all excited to uh, give time to the Lord. They were all excited to, um, you know, just be uh, happy that uh, they are converging to give glory to God and um, give time for God to um, to worship Him, you know, and um, and uh, moving on to uh, the next part of the story, um, and uh, in verse eight, they said, uh, "So they read distinctly from the book in the law of God, and they gave the sense and helped them to understand the reading." And Nehemiah, who was the governor, as were the priests and scribes. And the Levites who thought the people said to all the people, this, is the, this day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn nor weep, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. And, um, you know, uh, here, um, it's, this is a really powerful, um, this is a really powerful verse. Because, um, you know, it says here that um, uh, when we are worshiping God and when we are um, having fellowship, just like what they did here, you know, um, basically it says that, you know, we should not be sad or we should not be um, mourning or weeping in, in any way because we should be happy that, you know, we are having fellowship with, first of all, with God and second of all, with our brethren in the Lord who all of us um, have the unity of the Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. And, um, you know, it's, it's really powerful here that, that Ezra said that, you know, uh, because it says here that for all the people wept, you know, sometimes all of us, I think, um, you know, we are not, we, we are still in the flesh and we are still human. And sometimes our, our emotions are, we, we, we tend to get uh, emotional sometimes in the meetings. But then, um, you know, it says in the Bible that we should always be happy, you know, um, because uh, by just the word of God, you know, by just the fellowship itself, you know, it should make us, uh, have um, um, uh, a rejoicing heart. It should it should make us have a rejoicing spirit that um, we are having the time to uh, celebrate and you know and give back the glory of God. And uh, in verse ten, it said then said to them, "Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet." And said to portions to those for whom nothing is prepared, for the day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. You know, if you think about here in the verse 10, it says that go your way, eat the, feet, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and said portions to those who, who nothing is prepared. You know, um, basically, there were people in the meeting who, 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 were, uh, who were poor. And there were people in the meeting who were, who were rich and have a um, lot of resources for, for themselves. But it says here that, you know, uh, when we have been like a fellowship, um, we must show love to our brothers and sisters, you know. Uh, for it says here that 
uh, give portions to those for whom nothing is prepared, you know, um, and that's part of that's part of glorifying God, you know, that's part of being happy in the Lord. You're sharing that we are sharing that we have for those who hasn't, you know, that uh, we are sharing that uh, the blessings of the Lord, not keeping it to ourselves, but also sharing the, the blessings of the Lord unto others, you know, and um, that applies to, to our brothers and sisters or people outside who needs them, you know, um, because that's the way that uh, we show love to people. And when we show love to people, we are happy. And also the people who's being showed love as well is happy. Because, you know, um, for it says here that for the joy of the Lord is your strength. You know, when we do the work of the Lord, when we follow the Lord, when we obey the instructions of the Lord, when we read His Word, when we read His word and, um, you know, it makes us happy. It comforts us knowing that, you know, God is there in the midst of us, whatever we do, uh, when we pray, uh, when we uh, sing the songs that we are singing um, earlier, when we are hearing the testimonies that we, great testimonies that we heard from Sister Carrie and uh, Brother Fritz as well earlier, the, the Lord is always with us, you know, the Lord is always with us. And, you know, um, and that itself, we should be happy, you know, we should be happy that um, whatever comes in our way in our life, you know, um, there's always many things going to um, go into our life. Like some of us are going to get broken. I don't know what kind of, I don't know uh, which, uh, I don't know which, which, uh, which will that came from. If you're broken, maybe from your relationships or um, your work, your studies. I mean, there will be failures. The Bible said that there will be failures, but uh, what's important is we hold on to his promise and we hold on to his word. We hold on to the hand of the Lord and we let him embrace us, you know, for, um, and uh, if we do that, you know, we will always have the, 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 the joy in the Lord because uh, whatever comes in our way um, through the Holy Spirit, he knows what we're going through. And uh, the Lord is not, you know, the, it says in the Bible also that the Lord is not deaf, you know, he hears our every prayer. He hears whatever what he, what we have in our hearts, and he knows it. You know, he knows it, and um, and uh, he will he will uh, he will always make a way for us to uh, be an overcomer for everything. And um, praise the Lord, you know, praise the Lord for all of that, because um, the Lord is uh, is always good, and um, he's always there to comfort us. Uh, just like uh, what it said here, um, you know, and they, they were they were um, they were celebrating, you know, they were celebrating, just because of the joy of the Lord is their strength, and we should be, uh, we should follow the example of these people as well, brothers and sisters, that um, um, you know, we should um, exercise the the laws of God everywhere in our meetings, outside the meetings, and um, and um, Whatever we do in life. So, moving on to the story on uh, Nehemiah chapter 8. Um, so, the Levites uh, quieted all the people. He's saying, uh, saying, be still for the day is holy. Do not be grieved. All the people went their way to eat and drink, to send portions and rejoice greatly. Because they understood the words that were declared to them. And, um, you know... Uh, Brothers and sisters, um, the, the word of God is, is something that is really powerful unto us because, um, you know, when we receive the Holy Spirit, we gain understanding from uh, what the scriptures really mean. You know, uh, it's one thing. It is really one thing that um, we should be really happy about because it says here that they, uh, because they understood the words that were declared to them, they rejoiced greatly. And I mean, brothers and sisters, all of us, I'm sure that uh, we understand the word of God because all of us have the Holy Spirit, and um, and if we understood what we what, uh, what the Bible really means, we will rejoice greatly, and we will love our brothers and sisters, and um, uh, we will love uh, our fellowship. For you know, uh, it says that for the day is holy; do not be grieved. And um, I believe that all days for us are is holy. I believe that every day for all of us is Sabbath day. 
because uh, it is not only Sundays that when we have fellowship. I'm really sure of that. And um, I mean, the rest is with with the Lord. And um, if we pray and uh, if we, uh, um, you know, if we look upon the Lord every day, we are having our rest every day. So there's no reason for us to. Um, I'm not saying there's no reason for us to be sad. Of course, sometimes all of us will be sad. Sometimes all of us will be sad. But the thing is that, um, you know, we need to, um, you know, we need to look upon the Lord and not dwell with that sadness. Because I think that some, some, sometimes um, uh, most of us, I think sometimes me as well, you know, sometimes I dwell on my sadness uh, more than, what uh how long it should be but you know what it says here that in the bible that um, when we look upon the word of the lord it gives us instant comfort it gives us um a quick um, embrace from god and know that um you know our happiness doesn't depend on anything on this world rather that uh, our happiness is of the lord we already achieved that happiness when we received the, the promise you know and we should be we should keep ourselves uh, being happy because we, we, we still have the, um, the promise of the Lord to hold on to. And, you know, this life is, is going to do its everything to bring us down because that is the, the devil's work. But, you know, um, that's why we have the fellowship. That's why we have the fellowship with the brother, brothers and sisters. That's why we love our brothers and sisters because it is our strength. It is what, what keeps us going on. It, if what keeps us, you know, um, motivates us in the promise of the Lord. And as, as you can see in this picture right here, I got it actually from the Revival Fellowship um, site. And uh, I mean, they're all happy because why they, you know, um, uh, it's because they're, they're having fellowship just like what we are, we are having now. Although it's online, you know, but it's the, it's the new normal when, um, when uh, a pandemic is happening. But we are still having fellowship. We still see each other. Um, but, you know, the most important thing is we converge. You know, we, we, uh, we are having the unity of the Spirit to, um, to uh, lead us in life. And something to, um, you know, to, to, bring, to bring within ourselves uh, for every day. That, um, you know, um, not to be sad because uh, whatever that uh, comes in your way, there is always your brothers and sisters who loves you very much. And I do love you all. Uh, I mean, come on. But uh, yeah, uh, and I do love you all. And I'm sure all of you love me as well. I don't know about that. <laughs> but yeah, praise the Lord. Um, but you know, uh, I'm, I'm praising the Lord because I have you as my brothers and sisters. And you know, the song that we sung earlier that uh, we are our brother's keepers. You know, it's, it's, our, it's, our, it's our role, it's our job to keep our brothers and sisters. And by that, we are showing our love to our brothers and sisters. And by that, you know, we give happiness to our brothers and sisters. And their brothers and sisters uh, gives happiness to ourselves as well. You know, it's vice versa. Because um, we all have the, the, the spirit of truth. And um, we are one family of God. And, you know, um, we know that God guides us in everything. So, um, yeah, it's just really we are really blessed you know we are really blessed to be part of the fellowship and be part of the family of god wherever we are i'm sure wherever we are we are going to be happy uh, as long as we are in a fellowship because uh we are all brothers and sisters in the lord whatever race we are so praise the lord for that then um not moving on um and it says here that uh, the title is blessed are we actually because i want to emphasize how blessed we are, how, you know, how, um, and in the Bible, you know, it says here that, um, um, oh, not in the Bible, actually, um, when we say blessed, it actually uh, also means happy, you know, and, um, and if I'm going to exchange the word blessed for happy, you know, if we read these verses and, and do that, it will say that happy is the man who walks not in the counsel of of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. And he shall be planted like a tree by the rivers of water, 
that brings forth its fruits in its season, whose life, who, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. You know, my brothers and sisters, it says here that it's really simple, you know. We are happy if we are not in the path of sin. We are happy if we keep the laws, if we keep the commandments of the Lord within us. And in verse 3, you know, it's really powerful here. It says that, but he's the light. You know, when he says that in he's the light, he's the light is actually uh, means that um, uh, his comfort is in the law of the Lord. You know, his comfort zone is in the law of the Lord. And he's in, in, in his law and he meditates day and night. And, you know, actually, brothers and sisters, this verse here is actually, um, is actually what we, are, we should be doing. You know, we should be doing this where we meditate day and night. And I'm sure most of us do. I mean, all of us do this. Meditates day and night. But, you know, um, if we are doing this, we should be happy because we know that, um, um, you know, even if we are broken by some things, you know, I mean, things are nothing. Things are nothing. Earthly things are nothing because they will pass away. Even um, our, um, you know, um, our riches, our achievements in this life, it will be nothing when it comes up, when, when, the Lord, uh, when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back because all of these earthly things are, are just temporary. And um, I want to share this like, um, you know, I've heard this from um, a sister who is in the UK actually, that she said that, she said to me that, um, you know, when we became, for the people outside the fellowship, the most important thing for them is marriage. The, mo the most important thing for them is marriage. But for us, you know, the marriage is just a blessing of the Lord in this earth. It is not the most important thing. The most important thing for us now, when we are now in the Lord, is should be keeping our testimony and um, being happy in the sight of the Lord. You know, being happy that we have the Lord in our lives. And... Um, if we have that, you know, um, whatever failure that comes in our way, whatever brokenness that comes in our way, it will sometimes affect us. But uh, we will always have God's embrace, God's comfort to be there for us and, um, and um, keep us back, you know, keep us back in the bay of evil and, um, and uh, keep us on a straight, narrow path that the Lord has laid upon us which is the, 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 the road to salvation, the road to the everlasting life. And that is our happiness, brothers and sisters. That is our happiness, that we are in the straight line of that, that going to the everlasting life. And then in verse 3, you know, it says here that, that he shall be planted like a tree by the rivers of water. Basically, it says here that we are going to be immovable. We are going to be, um, you know, we are uh, going to be strong in the Lord, that uh, whatever sadness whatever well, whatever um you know whatever this life hits us it will not uh, it will not uh, bring us down rather it will uh when we overcome it it will keep us stronger than ever and it will keep us it will gives us wisdom you know and uh brings forth its fruit in its season you know it basically says that when we are having wisdom and we when we improve ourselves in the lord we are bearing fruit. We are bearing fruit, brothers and sisters, that the Lord, for the Lord, it is a very good sight to see that we are bearing fruit because um, it means that we are growing in our faith with the Lord. And, you know, being happy, we cannot grow fruit. You know, I've never seen a plant who is dying that bear the fruit. A plant who is bearing her fruit is always strong, is always um, colorful. And when you look upon it, like like the tree here, you know, is it, is this this picture is really symbolistic for me, because uh, this uh, these people here are uh, are brethren in PNG, uh, Papua New Guinea, just like um, where Brother Joel came from. Um, you know, they're having a fellowship um, um, under a tree, and um, you know, if we uh, understand in the first tree that. Uh, brings forth its fruit. You know, when I looked upon this picture, basically, um, if we are 
uh, happy as these people right in this picture right here that um, they are having fellowship that uh, they were uh, converging in one place to glorify God we shall be like upon the tree that you are looking at the picture right now brothers and sisters that is um, um, you know the tree that is uh, I, I don't know what how to say this in English but <laughs> um, in Tagalog it says uh, malago it means that um, it's uh, it's bearing fruit basically and um, its leaf is also looks good and its branches is just um, basically it's a it's a productive tree it means like a, it's a productive tree and uh, brothers and sisters you know um, we should be always happy for us to bear fruit you know um, uh, we would get sad sometimes but that is the process of being happy as well it's the process of being happy as well when you become sad and then you overcome being sad basically when you overcome being sad you are being happy because we have learned something from the from from god brothers and sisters we are not happy because of nothing rather we are happy because we have learned something from god and god embraced us in our hard times god embraced us in our hard times and um if you want to be like this tree right here uh, you know and uh um you know basically when I look upon the perspective of this picture right away, it's uh, on an artistic way. Um, I had this idea like, you know, the prayers that uh, the fellowship of the brothers and sisters. Um, it's, uh, it's like a, it's, it's a strength for, for the tree. You know, it's a strength for the tree that uh, makes the tree uh, grow well. And um, it's just my perspective when I look upon this picture because it's just really powerful when I saw it, when I saw it. So praise the Lord for that. Um, whoa, whoa. Oh no, oh no. Wait a minute. Um, what is happening? Oh, whoa. All right, all right, all right. Oh no. Sorry about that. Wait. <laughs> what happened? Oh man. Um. Um. Sorry about that, brothers and sisters. All right, um, try again. Oh no, <laughs> having technical difficulties. I don't know what has happened. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, wait. Let me reload, reload it again. Um, sorry about that. Uh, oh man. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Didn't know what happened. Okay, wait a minute. Give me a second. Um, oh man. The next part is uh, "Blessed is the Lord." Um, Psalm seventy-two. You know, um, in His name, uh, His name shall endure forever. His name shall continue as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed. Shall be blessed in Him. All nations shall call Him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, God of Israel, for who only does wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. You know, brothers and sisters, this, this passage here is just really, um, it's, 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 it is explaining to us how wonderful is our God. You know, how wonderful he, is he that his word is... Um, it, his word is his word is just so great that it not only comforts us, um, you know, it not only comforts us, but it comforts our our whole family in the Lord around the world. And as you can see, you know, this picture is here. All of this I took as well in the Revival Fellowship Instagram, and all of us. And as you can see here, all of us are all of them are smiling. As you can see, Brother Ian, he's looking at. Uh, He's doing some uh, silly face expression, but I mean, he, he is happy. Like, you know, every, everyone in the picture is happy. And um, I mean, you know, this is, this is our saints around the world and they are happy. And um, because, I mean, we are all happy. Sorry about that. We are all happy because we are, we are all uh, experiencing the power of God in our life. And, you know, if we have that, what's the point? You know, what is, 
what is our excuse to say that, oh, I'm, I'm, I am sad and I'm going to be sad for the rest of the days? You know, if you do that, something is, something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong if you do that. You know, we should be happy because um, um, the whole earth, just like in verse 19 says this, is filled with his glory. The whole earth is filled with his glory because uh, wherever we go now, you know, wherever um, continent, uh, the, the, the fellowship and the spirit-filled people is around the world, you know, is around the world. And um, we are one big family of God wherever we go, you know. So, um, you know, uh, we are blessed that we have each and, each and every one, brothers and sisters, because wherever, whenever we, are, we have problems, whenever we have um, um, problems in life or whatever brings us down, we turn to God and then, you know, God, uh, for, for my experience, God uses brothers and sisters as messengers for his messages for us. And that also, um, you know, uh, all of the people uh, involved in the fellowship, all of us will be used by God to um, encourage another brother and sister. And from that, they draw strength from us to God, you know, it's, it's like a, it's like a channel. We are a channel, uh, and God uses each and every one of us to comfort each and every one of us and love each and every one of us, you know? And, um, uh, I mean, for me, you know, um, in my experience, I've, I've heard so many testimonies that lifted me up. I've heard, uh, many uh, talks that lifted me up as well. I have heard, many um uh many prayers that lifted me up as well you know just everything everything will lift us up everything that is from god will lift us up if uh we are focused and we know that god is the most important thing in our life and our life is not our own uh because god uh changed us to think about somebody else now not to think about ourselves, but to think about our brothers and sisters who are also in the Lord and our job to keep them, um, uh, our job to uh, encourage them and um, uh, impart the happiness as well. Uh, show to them that we love them, we care for them, and um, um, that we are, we are their brothers and sisters uh, in the Lord whom they can come to if they have problems. So, um, amen and amen, you know, uh, the, the, the last line here is just perfect. Amen and amen. You know, because God moves within us um, in every way. And that means also in our, in our meetings, in our, um, when we talk to our brothers and sisters, God is always there, you know. So, amen and amen because he's always there for us and he's wonderful. So, um, yeah, if you want to look upon these pictures, you can look at the Instagram. But basically, you know, here you go. Um, uh, but the best picture here is definitely where Brother Ian is. Um, so, yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> um, sorry, just joking. So, all right. So, be happy for we are in the embrace of God, of the Lord. Um, just one verse here. Proverbs 17. A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Um favorite song by sister mira so but you know it's it's this this um this proverbs verse right here is just really powerful it says here that you know when we have a merry heart we have the medicine in life you know when we have a merry heart we have the medicine in life because um life is not going to bring us down anymore because we are we are we have a rejoicing heart and we have a rejoicing heart when we are happy in the Lord, when we are happy that we have His Word, His instructions in the Bible for us to follow to, and um, and it's a, it says here a broken spirit drives the bones. You know, a, a broken spirit drives the bones. Have you ever seen a dry a dried bone? I've ever I, I've seen a dried bone before, and it looks terrible. It looks like dying. It looks dying, brothers and sisters. And that is also the same to us. Do you want? To, do you? Do we want to be like that bone, 
the dying bone, the dry bone, because we are broken and we kept ourselves broken. We don't want that. We don't want that. And um, I'm sure all of us want to have a merry heart. And there's, there's only one thing in it, brothers and sisters, if we, want, if we want to have a merry heart, that is to be happy um, that we are in the embrace of God, that we should be happy that we are under the wings of the Lord. You know, just like in David, David, um, David Psalms and prayers, that he says that, keep me under your wings, Lord. You know, it's just um, really powerful because that is also what is happening to us, brothers and sisters. We are under in the wings of the Lord. Now, um, we all have our two choices. Do you want to get out of that wing or not? Do you want to get out of that wing and be sad with your life? Or do you want to be under that wing and have um, a merry heart and a rejoicing heart with the Lord? And um, yeah, it's just uh, what I want to say about this passage. But if you want to look about this picture as well, it says blessed. Um, if, and I already said earlier that blessed for me means happy. Um, I mean, it's just really wonderful that we are blessed. And when we say that, um, it should be really wonderful that we are happy. You know, we are happy because we are blessed. Praise the Lord for that. And um, I think this is going to be the, my last slide. Um, all right. So love of the brethren, uh, love of God, love of the brethren. So in Hebrews 10, Verse, uh, Hebrews 10, verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he who is promised is faithful. Verse 24. Let us consider one another in, a, in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together, as in manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much as the more as you see the day approaching. This is the perfect uh, description for our fellowship, brothers and sisters, that uh, we should provoke each and every one to love. We should provoke each and every one to goodness. We should provoke each and every one for the betterment of ourselves and for the betterment of others. Because um, it is also our role, it is also our job to keep our brothers and sisters happy in the Lord. It doesn't only depend for them that they read and, and, and they, they pray. Of course, that is a very important thing. That is a very important thing to do, that you pray by yourself and you read the Bible by yourself. But um, what strengthens us more is that we, we know that um, we have our brothers and sisters who does the same and will give us the same advice, will give us the same um, uh, right uh, judgment and right uh, advice for us what we should do because they're also spirit filled and there are brothers and sisters in the Lord. And basically it is the Lord who moves through them and says that things to you uh, for you to be comforted because the Lord uses each and every one of us brothers and sisters uh, to, um, to do his, uh, to do his will or uh, to, um, to be a channel for his messages for all of us. I believe the Lord always have messages for all of us. And I believe that our brothers and sisters is the, is um, most of the time it is our brothers and sisters whom the Lord uses for us to understand that um, message or understanding. So uh, that's why I said like love of God, love the brethren. Because you know, when we love the brethren, you know, when we love the brethren, brothers and sisters, that is also we are showing that we are love. We love God. And um, that's why this verse is just here, you know, for us to, um, um, to stir up love and good works. All right. So um, I think it's going to be my last. And um, yeah. So um, last uh, quote I want to show to you is that just here. New life with, all God, with God, all things are possible. Because um, when we keep this in our, in our mind, when we keep this in our mind, that we know that we have a wondrous God in our back. Whatever that keeps us back, whatever that keeps us down in our life, it does not matter. It will never matter 
because God can can uh, work all all things because He made all things, and uh, that is my um, um, thoughts for the day, which uh, God gave me. So praise the Lord for that, and um, yeah, praise the Lord. End of my presentation.